this one's gonna be quick. I'm finally test driving the Android 11 beta on my OnePlus 8, and I'll have more to say in a bit. But I started talking about Google's desktop mode on the OnePlus 7 Pro, and I think we should continue that trend on the OnePlus 8. There's not a ton of change, but little bits of refinement are definitely welcome. Android 11 brings a little more polish, but this still isn't quite ready for prime time. Immediately, formatting looks better, and the layout makes better use of space. Now, icons aren't as comically large anymore. Also in the developer options, once we force freeform windows, more apps play nice with windowed and full screen mode. Power Director, for example, can display in windowed view or full screen, where on Android 10, it's stuck in a limited window view. This all looks and plays nicer, but we're still a ways from a usable interface. The app drawer is a clumsy full window view, which has a tendency to lock up. Apps completely disappear when you try to minimize them. I can't find any way to recall an app or see a multitasking menu. And of course, we don't have the quality of life UI niceties that define a modern operating system, like a search bar or a clock. I'm happy to see some progress. We can tell Google has paid it some attention, but in its current form, this is just a basic backbone. Functional, usable to a decent degree, but it'll be up to phone manufacturers to polish this up. Phones are silly powerful, and there's really no reason why we can't use them for more demanding levels of work. A phone like the OnePlus 8 is an absolute hot rod, so we'll have to see what it can do on Android 11. As always, thanks so much for watching, sharing, and subscribing. Support is always critical for a channel my size. I hope you'll check out the links below, which help me not pack every video with baked in ads and sponsorships. Or you could check out the support page on somegadgetguy.com, or you might consider joining the list of names scrolling by from my Patreon. Those are super cool tech pals, so I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at somegadgetguy on the Twitters and the Twitch, and the Facebooks and the Instagrams. And I will catch you all on the next video.